There are, of course, a ton of tuition centers, but this one caught my eye because it's literally called PSLE Math. So I want to contact them to find out more. Jason Hyak is the founder. He started PSLE Math 10 years ago. And as I'm about to find out, Jason Center starts prepping its students for PSLE Maths much earlier than I thought. Our centre taking kids from preschool to primary six. From preschool? Yeah. All the way to primary yes. six. Correct. They are all preparing just for the PSLE exam. Just prepare for the single goal. Wow. PSLE math exams. So how does your centre prepare the kids to take these tough PSLE questions? I'm going to show you an example of mm -hmm. a simple number bond concept that was taught in preschool and how this same concept slowly evolved into complicated question that okay. are potentially tested in PSLE exams. This is an example of a number bond question. This that, for the preschool uh, kid? Yes, for a preschool kid. And you can see it's pretty simple. So as a child goes to primary school, number bonds will be replaced with model question. Now, look, this is similar to that question, but now you can see that the same concept, the school has now introduced the element of fraction into the question. Let me show you a, a typical PSIE kind of math question. You can see that it's very similar to the previous example, but this time the main difference is that it introduced multiple fractions and require the child to understand the concept of remaining plus values. So it helps if they start younger, right? I guess then the, the I mean, does that mean a kid who comes in at primary three and four will have less of an advantage? Yeah, obviously if you start at preschool, you'll have an advantage. The kids that come for tuition, do they stand a better chance of acing the PSLE mathematics exam with those tough questions? Yes, it certainly will help children who came to come for tuition to do better in PSLE exams. So I found out that 10 weeks of classes here cost between four to $500. And I do admit sending any kid at preschool age does seem a bit extreme, but it really is a question of demand and supply. 